one of the other area where efficiency can be significantly improved is accounts payable. After a few trials and errors, we've come up to an Excel spreadsheet which can help accounting departments to stay on top of voucher entry practices. Okay, let's say I have a stack of invoices from my suppliers uh, which I need to get into the system and I take the first one and the name is uh, General uh, Steel Corporation. Uh, what I can do now is just type the uh, partially their name here and I can hit uh, uh, look up supplier button or just press uh, control L to uh, in, in the program brings me the um, uh, suggestion basically there are two uh, matches uh, in the system uh, general steel corporation and the general store so um, it's not necessarily the name could be in in the beginning of the name uh, it could be somewhere in the middle or at the end so I select uh, the first one the uh, uh, general steel corporation and what happens uh, the program actually brings uh, the last voucher the distribution lines from the last voucher and it populates them for me here and also populates the invoice number which was on the uh, last voucher and it suggests me the accounts sub accounts cost center uh, entity and so on and so forth even the description and the amount so uh, if it's a typical uh, invoice from uh, General Steel Corporation, then what I can do here is just the, uh, change the invoice number and change um, description if I need to. Uh, of course, the date and uh, the amount. Uh, make sure it's uh, it's different or it's it's new amount with the new. Um, with the new invoice and I go I move to the next one so who is the next who's my next um, uh, supply so let's say my next one is um, a company with the word supply in the name so I just type uh, supply here and uh, hit control L and the program brings me uh, all the uh, matches so in this case let's say it was a top-notch supply company and I just keep uh, moving them uh, make sure it's all you know uh, description is correct um, I'll just put a test here and so on so and I make sure the amount is different uh, from my invoice Invoice number is is the new invoice number. I do it like this, and once it's all clean, um, it's all done and clear, then then I can do uh, upload. So when I hit upload, the the program actually uh, validates all the data from the spreadsheet, uh, checks against the. Uh, uh, standard QD logic whether everything is clean and, and, uh, and is good and uh, once everything is okay then it uploads this into, into MFG Pro into 28.1 menu and also uh, it assigns the voucher numbers as you can see here in this column it assigns the new numbers here so now if I want to um, browse uh, voucher from the system uh, I can just step on any line um, of this invoice and hit the voucher uh, and make sure it's all the same same way enter it into MFG Pro system and I can print it off if I need to um, similar way I can just uh, inquire about uh, supplier if I click on the supplier button it shows me uh, a supplier activity inquiry and just another uh, another screen to uh, useful to have. And that concludes this video. Thank you very much.